everyone. Welcome back to my page. I am Avantika Kambi and today I am going to show you how to control your LED and DC motor while using a switch. So how this works is that when you switch on the switch, then your LED will light up and your DC motor will start running. So I hope you like it. Let's see how to make it. So now before we start with the connections, I want to show you something that we'll need for the project. So now obviously on the breadboard, we can't just put like our DC motor like that. Obviously we won't be able to connect it. So that's why you need to fit in the wires in there. Um, if you don't want to do this, you can always solder it. But um, if you don't have a soldering machine, don't buy it. Um, you can just do this. It's really easy. So um, what you have to do is take one of the wires um, Now I'm going to show you the DC motors You have to do that just put it in the hole and then you can just twist uh, These wires, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that till it's secured So this is just like soldering but except it's not soldering even like small children can do it it's really easy but do do this under adult supervision in case something happens with the wires or something all right so now we're done with that one we'll do the other one too and same thing with the side switch now you might be wondering there are three pins in here which one do we connect so you're going to connect the middle pin and one of the end pins so now let's just do that all right everyone so now you can see we are done with both of them and now let's start the connections on the breadboard so first let's do the dc motor connections so what you want to do here is you want to connect one of the motor pins to the positive row of the breadboard which is this one so we're just going to do that and then the other pin of the DC motor should go to the negative. There we go. These are actually really easy connections if I would say. But sometimes they had to put in the breadboard. Alright, there we go. Done. Oh! Plus. Okay, there we go. It's okay if it's a little unsteady at first it happens all right now we're going to start with the side switch connection so over here what you want to do is take one of the side switch pins and then connect that to the positive and the other other end or the other pin will go to any other row of the breadboard so we're just gonna put it in there right there see right there and then the last connection is our leds connections so we're gonna keep the led there the positive on the right side negative on the left all right there we go now we're gonna take the resistor and connect it to the negative and then the other end of the resistor should go to the negative of the breadboard. And then the last connection, we have this pin. This should go to the positive of breadboard. These are actually really easy um, connections. I think this is the smallest project we've ever done. <laughs> All right. We are done with the connections, literally. Now we just have to connect the battery. Now um, make sure this is a 9 volts battery. Like it should be full 9 volts, otherwise it will not work. Now let me show you an example. Of course, now it says it's 9 volts, but um, I designed this especially for this project. But now let's just show you the connections, okay? So now the positive pin of the battery will go to the um, other end of your uh, switch right there 
right there and then the negative would go to the negative of the battery okay 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 let me just show you what happened right there yeah you can see it okay so now when i switch it on whoo yay oh yeah it's working but now obviously you can't see the motor right that's why here is the fan we are going to be connecting the fan to the motor and let me also get some cool air and there we go Ooh. oh this is so cool i can actually feel the air and make sure this has to be 9 volts now um oh so if this ever comes out don't worry oops okay that's too much power i think all right so anyways i hope you like this video everyone if you did make sure to hit that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so that you don't miss a single video also if you're watching this on instagram make sure to follow me and like this video all right everyone thank you so much for watching again bye